An extreme high tide is often referred to as a king tide. And they present an opportunity for us to learn about the impacts from sea level rise. This is the Thank You Ocean Report. King tides are the highest predicted high tides of the year. And when these tides happen in combination with stormy weather, as is the case during California's wet winters, that combination can lead to some very high water. Marina Pizarros is the Coastal Training Program Coordinator for the San Francisco Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve. And these high water events can help us visualize how rising sea levels due to climate change could impact coastal areas in California. Climate change is often presented as an abstract and incredibly complicated topic. And I think that a lot of people have a hard time getting their head around what climate change will actually mean to them and how it will look in the places where they live and work and play. The California King Tides Initiative is providing a way for us to actually visualize what sea level rise might look like. What we're doing is inviting people to take stock of what's already happening around them by taking their cameras with them on days that have the highest predicted tides and preferably also stormy weather and photographing what they see. Last year, photographs taken during King Tide events documented impacts to private homes, public property, recreational areas, and wildlife habitat all along the California coast. The California King Tide Initiative is an innovative social media campaign. We're using social media to engage a segment of the population that may not be paying too much attention to coastal hazards and climate change. We're trying to make this initiative fun and thought-provoking and inclusive by communicating with people in ways that they're already familiar with, like using Facebook and Flickr and Twitter and inviting them to do something that a lot of them are already doing all the time, which is taking pictures and sharing them with their friends. And sharing photographs of these king tides has many objectives. Not only are we trying to engage Californians in a conversation about the future of our very beloved and very highly populated coastal areas, we're also using this as an opportunity to identify and catalog coastal areas that are currently vulnerable to tidal inundation. And we're building an online resource of images that can be used by anyone, be that artists or high school students working on a report, public servants, nonprofit organizations, or scientists themselves to communicate about coastal hazards and also to give a living record of what's already happening. And you can participate in helping this living record grow. On our website, californiakingtides.org, we have listed the dates of the highest predicted high tides in December, January, and February. We're asking people to go there, look for the date that works best for their own calendar, Go out, take pictures. We encourage people to include some sort of reference point, be that a jetty or a wharf or a road or some piece of infrastructure so that it's really easy to see where the water level is. Record some information, such as the time that the photo was taken and the geolocation, so where you were when the photo was taken. And then you can submit the photos either directly through our website or find the Flickr group and submit them through there. Again, the website is californiakingtides.org. This is a great opportunity for all of us to learn through sharing these photographs. My thanks to Marina Pissarros. Remember, the ocean takes care of us. Let's return the favor. To find out how, please visit thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.